Hi, I'm Scientist Kate. This is Grade K, Sunlight and Weather, Lesson 1.2, Introducing Temperature, Part 1. I live in Seattle, Washington, with my cat Carter and my dog Bird. I love to travel to places that have really nice and interesting weather, and I can't wait to learn more about weather along with you. For this lesson, you're gonna need an excited science mind. Are you ready to do some thinking and learning? Great, let's go. Okay, last time we found out that we're learning to be weather scientists. What have we found out about weather so far? Can you think back and remember what you learned in the last lesson? Go ahead and tell me when you know. Yeah, we learned all about different types of weather. Weather can be sunny or it can be cloudy. It could be rainy, it could be windy, it could be snowy. Weather can be a lot of different ways. Before we get started on our lesson today, I want you to pause the video if you're watching this on your phone or on the internet, and I want you to go outside, look up at the sky, and figure out what the weather is like today. If you're not watching this on your phone or online and you're watching this on TV, that's okay. You can just look outside your window and see what the weather is like today. Are you ready? I'm gonna go outside and check too. All right, welcome back. Did you go outside and see what the weather was like? I did. Can you guess what the weather is like in Seattle today by what I'm wearing? Yeah, the weather in Seattle today is really sunny. It's beautiful outside and I can't wait to get outside once I'm done with all my schoolwork. Okay. So, do you remember this book from the last lesson? It's called, What is the Weather Like Today? Great. What did you learn from this book in the last lesson? Yeah, we learned that there's all different types of weather. There's sunny weather and rainy and windy and snowy. The weather can be a lot of different ways. Today, we're gonna to be talking about temperature. Ooh, that's a big science word. I'm gonna say it one time and then you say it back to me. Ready? Temperature. Temperature. Awesome. Temperature means how hot or cold something is. Today, we will read the second half of this book to figure out how we can describe temperature. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm going to read the page and I want you to follow along with me as I read the words. Are you ready? Great. After breakfast, I am dressed and ready to go to school, but I have another question. Every day before I leave for school, I always ask, what is the temperature today? Days can be different temperatures. For example, the temperature can be cold, cool, warm, or hot. Great, we just learned four temperature words, guys. We learned cold, cool, warm, and hot. These are all great words we can use to describe the temperature. Okay, let's get back to the book. I open the door and step out on the porch. Brr, I'm glad I have my coat and hat. What is the temperature today? Hmm, all right, we, for you watching at home, what is the temperature today? Let's make a prediction. I'm looking at the picture and I'm seeing that she's wearing a coat and gloves and a hat. Hmm, do you have a prediction? My prediction is, that is cold. Let's turn the page and find out. We were right. It says the temperature today is cold. The air feels like the inside of my refrigerator. <laughs> On cold days, I like to puff air out and form little clouds with my breath. Have you ever done that before? Have you ever gone outside on a cold day and blown your breath out like this and you see a cloud come out? That usually only happens on cold days. Great, so our prediction was correct. The weather temperature today was cold in the book. 
Are you ready for the next page? Oops. Today is a little warmer than before. I am going to leave my hat at home, but I still need to wear my coat. What is the temperature today? Hmm. Can you make a prediction about what the temperature is like on this day in the picture? The temperature today is cool. Great, our prediction was correct. On cool days, I like to run around on the playground to stay warm. If I stand still, I feel too cold. I need to ask my teacher to help me zip up my coat again. Great, so we predicted that the weather on that day is cool and we were right great i don't need a coat today i am going to school wearing my favorite sweatshirt what is the temperature today hmm let's make a prediction the first day it was cold the second day it was cool now she doesn't need a jacket she's just going to wear her favorite sweatshirt Hmm, what is the temperature today? Do you have a prediction? Tell me. Great prediction. Let's turn the page and find out. The temperature today is warm. Was your prediction correct? Great. On warm days, I like to play in the shade of the big oak tree on our playground. We pretend that the branches are the roof of our house. All right, let's try the next day. Today, I don't even need long sleeves. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I even put on my sandals. What is the temperature today? Do you have a prediction for what the temperature is? Tell me. Hmm. Oh, did you make that prediction because she's wearing a short sleeved shirt, shorts and sandals? Great, let's see if your prediction's correct. The temperature today is hot. On hot days, I like to lay, lie around in the shade of the oak tree. I look at shadows and sunlight on the leaves above me. Great job predicting. Let's read the last page. The weather where I live can be different on different days. The weather can be sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, or snowy. Temperature is part of weather too. The temperature can be cold, cool, warm, or hot. I wonder what the weather will be like tomorrow. Hmm, what is the weather like where you are today? What is the temperature like where you are today? Great, so we have four new words from this book to help us describe new and different temperatures. What are our new temperature words? Can you name any of the four? If you can, say them out loud right now. Great job. Our new temperature words are cold, cool, warm, and hot. Did you guess any of those four words? Great job. Now, I want you to describe what the temperature outside today is where you live. Did you go outside during the break earlier? What was the temperature like? We're gonna frame our answer by saying, the temperature outside today is, and then we're gonna use one of those four words, cold, cool, warm, or hot. I'll go first, and then we'll hear your answer. The temperature outside today is warm. I went outside. I was wearing just this light sweater. I didn't feel cold. I didn't feel hot. I would say it was warm. The sun was shining down. That's what the weather was like here in Seattle, Washington today. Now it's your turn. You're gonna say the temperature outside today is, and then fill in the blank. Are you ready? Tell me. Great, maybe the weather today is different where you live than where I live. That's pretty normal. 
All right, guys, that's it for grade K, lesson 1.2, Introducing Temperature, part one. I'll be back for part two, where we're gonna take some really awesome temperature measurements using a really cool tool. I'll see you then. Bye.